In this video, I want to show how to run the Quarkus dev mode for projects that are actually not Quarkus projects. And why this makes sense is, well, probably you saw um, a previous video where I showed the continuous testing feature of the Quarkus version 2 or the early version we have as of today. And this is really helpful to get fast test results. And when I did this, I figured, well, actually, if you have a different project that is not a Quarkus application, wouldn't it be cool to have this as well? So what I'm about to show you is not officially supported and it is just, well, a somewhat workaround or hacky solution. So fasten your seatbelts and get some protective gear. It is going to get adventurous. So what I have is I have a project that could be a plain Java project or that sometimes is a system test project where you actually don't want to either run anything or where you only have certain dependencies, for example, JUnit plus something else, but you still want to be able to execute this quickly. What of course you can do is to use your IDE to run that stuff, but wouldn't it be cool to have a similar experience like we get with the Quarkus dev mode? So what I did is I just added the Quarkus Maven plugin, which kind of works if you do um, a few tricks. So I'm assuming this is just a plain Java project with actually only test dependencies. So assuming this is a system test project, and I sometimes have this in my projects here, where I have some, well, test code, which could be a very basic uh, code level tests or some integration system tests that actually connect to some system. But anyway, just plain Java code that I run as part of my tests. What I can do is I can add the Maven um, Quarkus plugin, which either you add directly in your Maven um, in your Maven default profile, or you add a specific profile for it, which uh, is what I'm doing. Why? Because actually the Quarkus Maven plugin, and if you try this out yourself, you'll run into a few things. It expect um, a, de a dependency to be present. And of course you could add this to your usual project, then it's more like a default Quarkus project, or you just say, well, you want to have that in a specific scope, like a specific uh, profile. And then I'm using this as of recording this latest version two CR3. I don't want to debug, you can set some properties here or you set them in a the command line. You have to set this um, image, otherwise it didn't work uh, for me. And um, then you can actually start this um, already. What you could do if it's added to your regular Maven build, you can just say, well, Quark is dev, or you just um, say uh, Maven uh, Quark is dev with then a profile um, dash P test, for example. So I call this uh, profile test. This might be active um, per default, or I just have to activate it here. And then now this looks familiar. I can actually press R now to just run my tests. And well, this is not lying, this actually runs the tests of what I have here. And this is now similar to if that would be a Quarkus application. I have a very basic code level test that just uh, compares two strings where I said, well, is coffee equal to coffee dot or not. And as you're probably now familiar with if you watched um, the other video is now that I actually see it's green again, this is uh, on top here is the old output you now already see that this works and I get a really fast test result. So if I change something in my code, I change some um, tests here, I can have the enhanced output. Now it fails and now it is green again. So I get the really fast uh, test feedback. Now this might be either a plain Java project, it might be some sort of system test project where you don't have any other dependencies, that is where it is not actually a Quarkus application, but you still can use this facility to run that. Similar to the usual mode of running that um, application, what you can do is to disable this excludes, Quarkus test exclude pattern and of course, you could also set this into the properties of your uh, project, whatever makes sense. What that does now, and this is quite often what I have in system test projects, is that it now includes two tests instead of one, that I have an IT integration test. If you watched a previous video, you know what that uh, means. I actually have a system test that connects to an application that is running that now has nothing to do with this project. So this means I already had an application that was running. 
uh, locally, assuming I have a more complex uh, system test layout where my um, workflow already builds up a bunch of applications. And now this is a standalone project that, for example, wants to use this other project. And this works if I just write a test for that and um, run it with plain JUnit and the plain way of running tests here. And I still can use this approach of getting this very fast feedback um, here in my faked dev mode. And if I change something here, for example, now it says this IT fails because my application um, respond, um, responds with coffee dot and so on and so forth. I can fix that again. And as you see, similar to now what we are used to this continuous testing approach, I can get really fast feedback and um, just make that available for plain Java projects as well. So of course, this is a little bit of a hacky solution, but I just found it quite interesting that this uh, plugin can be enabled to usual projects as well. At least if you do a little bit of some, uh, some tricky hacky solution there, you can try this out yourself if you want. I found it very interesting that I then am able to run these tests very quickly. I hope you found this interesting. I would really appreciate if so, if you like the video and thanks a lot for watching.